Ooh, the new release section alley. It's Cream 5. Five Cream. You have the new Black Light movie. I was gonna see this in theaters, but I'm like, eh, who cares? This is more of a selection than the other Walmart. We got a, a few copies of uh, West High Stars with a slip cover. And then we're out with the slip cover. As well as the uh, Daniel Craig collection for $100. Very strange. Anything interesting here? Sing 4K. Besides that, DVDs, Blu rays. Nothing interesting, nothing cool. Oh, they restocked on their Spider Man 4Ks. So that's interesting. Not as many as the other one at the other location, but. Then they have the uh, Matrix 4 film collection. How come these don't come with the Animatrix? I don't know why. They should. Anyways, let's actually look at the uh, 4K selection. Eternals, no one wants that. Sometimes they, they, I don't know why, they spread out the 4Ks everywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, shoot. Snow print painted in blood. Red Ghost, the Nazi hunter. Vacation collection, European vacation. Oh, wow. They still have a bunch of these copies of uh, Friday 13th with the first th four having the 4K uh, restorations. Yeah, we've been seeing this. Halloween. Halloween. Jaws. They added another copy of the uh, five film collection for 80 bucks. Heck no. Uh, last Night in Soho. Space Jam. I was talking about getting Unbreak Unbreakable for 20 bucks. Top Guns, 20 bucks. It's right here. Chains for Denda. Yes. You got a bunch of Venom 2s on 4K. And then Venom 1 with a slip cover. Oh, no slipcover, I meant to say. I'm tempted to pick up Goodfellas, because I really enjoyed Goodfellas. This one has a loose disc. This one doesn't have a loose disc, so Goodfellas. Oh, shoot. What? We finally got it. Oh, why don't you get this instead? I'm going to get both. Both? Yeah, because there's nothing I want to get next week. For the next three weeks. But yeah, I held out. I saw this at a uh, physical media store for like $38. And I'm like, you know what? I'll find it cheaper somewhere. And boom, Clockwork Orange. All right, boys. So we're here at Cloverdale Mile. You know what's in Cloverdale Mile? Sunrise, Sunrise Records. Records. So let's hope yeah, we can- Yeah, but they have the 4K thing all the way in the back. Yeah, but they have a, se a separate section for uh, clearance 4K. So hopefully we'll find something cool. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we'll find the one true love. Maybe we'll find the cure to cancer. Anyways, let's check it out. Alright, closing. Sunrise Records.
Okay, and we are back home. I was able to go to two places. I went to a Walmart and a Sunrise Records. Uh, not the best Sunrise Records I've been to. Actually, probably the worst because they have the 4Ks not even next to the register, but behind it and like on top. So there's a shit ton of uh, glare. I can't see anything. And sometimes the prices are insane. So I don't like saying, hey, uh, how much does that go for? And they're like, oh, it's uh, 50 bucks. I'm like, oh, no, thank you. How much does that go for? Or uh, 45. Oh, no, thank you. I don't like doing that whole spiel. I'd rather just have a setup like this, pull it out. Oh, Halloween 4. Okay, nice. But they don't have that type of setup. Uh, sometimes you'll find good things. I found Creed there for like 17 bucks. But I wasn't able to find a 4K. But I was actually able to find a Blu-ray. A standard Blu-ray for like 10 bucks. Which I really enjoy. Which I'm going to open right now. But first off, let's talk about the 4K pickup. And this is a very anticipated pickup for me. Because when this came out, this didn't get a full release here in Canada. And the aftermarket prices were absolutely amazing. I mean, I think it was like somewhat distributed in Best Buys. So I'm not too sure. But, um... This 4K, uh, talking about a clockwork orange. So I showed you my last Cinema One pickup video slash hunting video. Uh, this was going for like 40 bucks and I didn't want to spend that money. It's like $32 right now on Amazon. And thankfully Walmart, for some reason, I don't know, you never know with some Walmarts. Uh, this is actually the same Walmart where I found, where is it? Where I found the thing on 4K and the thing here in Canada was really hard to come by. But found it randomly at uh, Walmart for 20 bucks. Same with this. I found this randomly at Walmart. Same location for 25 And that was really good. Uh, so yeah. Clockwork Orange on 4K. This is one of the only Kubrick films I haven't seen yet. Because I've been waiting. I had the opportunity to watch it in like 35mm. But um, I think I was watching Pulp Fiction that day. So I, I, I decided to choose that instead of that. But I might have been able to, I don't know. But yeah, so Clockwork Orange on 4K Blu-ray. I'm really excited to get into this. The slipcover is a bit a bit dinged up. But, you know, I honestly really don't care for slipcovers that much. If I can get a 4K for a good enough price, uh, I'll pull the trigger. Now, I know a lot of people in, like, the United States are like, oh, I can get those for 10 bucks on eBay or whatever. But, you know, we don't have those options. If I would have ordered it from eBay, it would have been at least 15 plus $10 shipping and then taxes and all that stuff. So it wouldn't be worth it. And it would take a while. I found it with a decent slip cover, you know, besides the little thing, there hasn't been really any, you know, you know, dings or any bad things besides this little, little tear here, but it's, it's, it's hardly noticeable. So yeah, so the 4k pickup of the day, Clockwork Orange by Stanley Kubrick. I think I now own every Stanley Kubrick 4k, I believe. I'm not sure, but I think I do. But yeah, Clockwork Orange. And then next I went to my local Sunrise Records, uh, in Cloverdale Mall, which is the one I was talking to about, and I don't like their selection. I mean, I haven't really been able to, you know, fully look into it because, you know, there's it's like on the ceiling, like oh, I'll have to freaking get a ladder just to look at the 4Ks. Like, what the hell? Anyways, but I was able to. I think I have, I think I have every single Quentin Tarantino movie on on. Uh, well, besides Hateful Eight, I'm missing Hateful Eight, but I basically have every single Quentin Tarantino movie on physical media, and then I got. Jackie Brown on Blu-ray, uh, you know his O'Day, his Ode, O'Day, Ode, his Ode to uh, black exploitation films. I've been getting into a lot of black exploitation films. I recently just watched uh, Sweet Sweet Back Song, uh, Shaft, and um, Across 110th Street. So I'm really excited to get into this. A pretty all-star cast. You got Michael Caine, not Michael Caine, sorry, Michael Keaton, uh, Sam Jackson, Robert De Niro. And it looks really good. And then this was 10 bucks for a, like a, not a box set, but like a slip edition. So when you take this out, look at this artwork, dude. This looks amazing. I absolutely love this artwork. It looks crazy. No uh, digital code and no, um, what's it called? No booklet. I thought this was going to be like a digibook type thing. But it comes with, what is this, a DVD? It comes with a DVD and a Blu-ray. I really like this artwork. Now this is some really killer uh cover artwork and then in the back it's just the pictures of all the actors on the back so that's that and uh yeah so those are the pickups of the day uh jackie brown on blu-ray for like 10 for 10 bucks and clockwork orange for 25 not a bad haul picked up two of the movies that i know i'm gonna love 
And uh, yeah, so that was it. Thanks so much for watching that video of mine. If you like hunting videos and 4K goodness and Blu-ray goodness, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know whenever I upload next. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time on another episode of The King of the Ozone. Uh, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. Peace, love, and physical media. Cheers, guys.